Well, I thought I'd post a little bit of an update on where we're at on the uh, Turbo 4.3 build. Uh, over here, we had purchased a 96 block. Uh, basically bought this block because we thought the balance shaft design was going to be better. But we found out that there was just too many changes to that block to be compatible with our valve train that we'd already purchased and selected for this build. So basically what we did, we decided to just throw that thing in the corner, go back to our other Typhoon, what they call side tie block, and uh, fit this block with the uh, two center four bolt main splayed outer bolt uh, steel caps. So basically what we have now is a 30 over side tie block. We have hone fit the pistons at seven thousandths clearance on the skirts. Uh, like I said we've upgraded the main situation where we're utilizing the nodular iron number one and number four rear main caps with the aftermarket four bolt splayed centers um, all ARP studs because you know this is going to be a pretty high horsepower effort for a V6 um, we're going to send it into the machine shop and go ahead and have them line hone it just to make sure we're we're good on that. Uh, the pistons are over here. They're all cleaned up and ready to go. We were just, because we literally honed each piston per numbered cylinder to make sure that every single thing is blueprinted properly. Um, I believe we've decided to go with the standard melling pump this time instead of the high volume. So apparently there's been a lot of people reporting some issues with unless you have the higher capacity oil pan you can run into issues running the high volume but as you know these V6's they don't spin a crap load of RPM with the boosted uh, situation on the cam it should peak should probably shift around 55 to 5800 and we're going to run minimum 15 pounds of boost most likely in the 18 to 20 pounds once we get the uh, tune figured out but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update because I know there was a lot of people interested in this high horsepower V6 build uh, I do have a lot of confidence in this engine we are checking and triple checking every single uh, clearance everything that needs to be done is going to be done 100% right and triple checked um, there's no reason why this thing won't make the power that it's expected to make um, you can't really see but I've done all my deburring can't hardly see down in there but if you look all the casting flash has been removed from all the cam tunnel the drain back has been properly opened up because for some reason the uh, oil, the main oil drain back in the lifter valley was so small, it was so restricted I couldn't even stick my uh, finger in the hole so we've got that thing opened up to a normal size now um, I am still in process working those cylinder heads uh, I can't really show you that much because I've got them on the full work right now but I've been been working a little bit on these as time will allow from massaging the little I call it the square lug above the spark plug working the chambers to unshroud the intake valves um, I'm still working my guides finishing all the uh, port blending and smoothing on those but uh, Intake's pretty much done. It's down there on the floor. Um, 
this is a different job. I'm doing a basically a Ram Air 4 uh, gasket match and full blend and bowl. I call it shape. It's not really a shaping. It's a ratio where you make sure you have a smooth transition from your valve seat into your port and that you have the proper throat size of your bowl below your valve on these Edelbrock 72cc heads for a uh, roller cam 461 Pontiac VH stroker so but that's a little bit of a different project right now we're trying to focus on getting some headway on this damn turbo 4.3 build and I know I've been kind of slacking getting some videos put up so anyway that's where we're at I hope you guys uh, that are interested in this type of stuff can follow along I'll try to update as many things as I can as far as um, you know how we're setting this motor up the parts we're using and show the results once we get this thing fired up and we're screaming on that all-wheel drive boost launch so anyway you guys thanks for watching and I'll try to get some more videos up soon because this uh, motor should be going together within probably three weeks or so depends on what the turnaround time is at the machine shop but yeah we've got it stripped down all the plugs bearings everything's been removed basically the only thing we need them to do is uh, just go ahead and line hone those mains drill and tap those outer splayed bolts so that we can get that thing uh, finalized and basically wash this thing up and start building a damn race motor so anyway I'll be back with you guys soon thanks for watching